Hello. Welcome back to Ark Knights. I haven't played in a little while, um, or recorded. <laughs> um, I've just been auto farming level materials. I do have enough originite to do three whole poles. I have 18,000. Now let's get to the, no, not recruit. Oh yeah, I pulled asbestos from recruiting. And the funny thing is, oh, oops, wrong. The funny thing is, I didn't add anything, like, that would get me a five star. I just was like, okay, let's do this. Defender, nine hours, and then I just left it. So the chances of me getting that was super low. Cement! <laughs> let's just do it. Ten ball. Skip. Pull. Oh my good! Oh, that's actually a six star. Okay, Ansel. Fuck! I shouldn't hit that. I know I shouldn't have hit it, but... Oh, it's a five star. I was wrong. Why doesn't it just let... Okay. I thought it would just let me skip Ansel. Oh. Ah, a bunch of more four stars. Hello, Orchid. I love Fang. Oh, a Vanguard. Thank you. Who are you? <laughs> Do I know you? Perfumer. Okay. There's so many characters. What the hell? Ooh, a four star. Oh. Why do you do that, Gravel? How would you know? I'm always wearing a hood. I think the rest is just three stars, so let's just skip that. Nice! Okay. Holy fuck. Okay. Uh, one more. Let's just do it. Let's just full send it. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I had some headhunting permits. I guess I'll use those, too. I won't skip these. Tell me who you are. What's your name? What's your address? Let's see. Can I get a three-star? Oh, wait. It's actually... Oh, it's a training, isn't it? Cruz. That's the only unit I'm allowed. Why is it doing this? Ugh, I love this game, and it's lag. Oh shit, it's just right into it, okay. This is human. The catastrophe defenses are huge. Okay. Where y'all looking at? The enemy is attacking. Get ready. Alright. I'll help to Instructor Doberman. Okay. So I just need to keep her alive. Doesn't this... I thought having someone on these will increase their damage. Am I imagining things or is the shooting sharper than usual? You're not. These Yanis saying that he who has the high ground has half the battle won. Human's catastrophe defenses are very tall. Operators on them will deal increased damage to enemies on the ground and take reduced damage when attacked by enemies on the ground. Yeah, I remember because I, uh, I did the annihilation. The annihilation with this place. And, uh, anyone that I put up there, excusez, wouldn't die to anything. <laughs> I mean, come on, let me spawn someone. Wait, true Wait, true for the enemy too? Yes, the enemy that can climb using ladders threatening our operators. I'll help out. So just make sure enemies don't get up there then. Easy as that. Okay. 
That's so loud. What are you doing? Oh, okay. That's wonderful. The enemy is coming around. Don't panic. Roadblocks are some of the... Some of the bulwarks will slow the enemy, giving us time to defeat them. Alright, I'll do my best. I'll help too. I mean... Uh... Here I am! Nice! Mission accomplished. I got three stars. We did all right. Oh, okay. Now here's the story. Oh, story, story, story. Lots of reading, lots of reading. Gonna go insane. Ooh, shit. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, it's one, it's one thing to make me play go <laughs> with you. Because you're bored, dear brother. It's another to use the pieces to form the character of, for bored. <laughs> I can see you haven't practiced Go theory I taught you. As if it would help me against you. It's true that the character on the board doesn't look as nice as your handwriting. Why don't you go... Why don't you find something else to pass the time? It's not really a Go game that you're after. Go hiking. Learn... An instrument. I have these awful hiccups right now. I can teach you calligraphy if it d comes down to that. The go match may have been devoid of interest, but there's meaning in t reading my important thoughts, important thoughts from the movement of the pieces. Oh, what thoughts did you read this time? Well, oh shit. Okay, just went right into it. Hey, Lucy. Low sigh. What gives? The show skipped with, from episode 17 to episode 20. Happens for, with a scratch disc. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. We used to have a... Uh, my mom's band had a movie TV thing and for the back seat. And that thing, any DVD you put in that thing, if it had a tiny scratch on it, it would skip so much. Must have been the sand. Just deal with it. It's not that bad. It was a key moment. Key can Oh no, this is gonna be awful. Okay. Key and Shen were at each other's throats a moment before. Then suddenly they're fighting side by side. How'd we get there? Key finds out that Shen killed his Shifu and sets out to kill him in turn. When he revives at Yumin, however, he finds Shen a high ranking officer in the military. With invaders at the gates, Key suffers a sleepless night and realizes that there is more at stake than personal vengeance so he joins the Grand Master's banner to face the foe. It's a simple story but the duel about the cliffs was a classic. Wodation? Bruh. I'm not going to be able to get any of these names right. I'm just going to say that now. Wodation. <laughs> How many times did you watch that? Any child in town would could recite the plot of Heroes of Human backwards. There's just one detail that this gentleman left out. Ki King Ku. I don't know how to say it, man. This is gonna be a rough one. Didn't set his grudge aside when he first saw Shen in the army. It was the Grand Master who pledged to face Ki. Ki's sword on behalf of Shen, leading to a duel by the cliffs. Clouds darkened the skies and the winds bellowed as though or heaven and earth here if as if heaven and earth were witness to the showdown, the two drew their swords. An awkward guineas. Nonsense, nonsense. Fight looked good, but no details, no, no good. You again, Dijon? I'm sorry. Uh, do you know, <laughs> do you even know about enough Yanis to understand the story? Of course, here's a human tells, tells true story 50 year ago. Many hero joined together, even though disagreement, still fight together against enemy under Grandmaster. I know many scenes shoot in these in. We're shot this in. <laughs> Looks like you know a thing or two about the Yanis history. Of course, Grandmaster, tell me when teach me fighting in Sargon. Grandmaster has sword, but sword special cannot pull out. This again, how could you lose to that feline girl so easily if you're really the Grandmaster's pupil? What about feline girl? She very strong. Why you look down on her? <laughs> oh, that's how I text. 
I'll text my girlfriend or my mom and just be like, the worst English you'll ever see. And it's, it is exactly like that. It's, oh, did it crash? It crashed! <laughs> oh my God. Oh shit, okay. Um, what about feline girl? What about feline girl? She's very strong. Why you look down on her? Yeah, it's just like, I text just like this dude. Grandmaster has sword, but sword special. Cannot pull out. It's like the most garbled caveman speak ever. <laughs> so the TV show was adapted from a true story. Was there really a time in human when Kung Fu adventurers joined forces with the army against the common foe? <sighs> to enjoy the freedom of being one of of being one's own master but also achieve great things fighting for one's country it's pretty cool well it's a tv show the only people who know how things really went down historically are the ones who are there anyway swords and spears are out of fashion if you really want to do something for your country you should learn arts and become a tian chi how would a fortress like human operate without civilians working to supplies its resources the people who came here to this cold and remote place when the city was first built, and the people who still stay here, they're fighting for their country in their own way. The only thing in the TV show that we know is real, for sure, the Grand Master is leaving too. Out, the, out of the way. Oh. It's a cat man. The medicine you ordered. Thanks, just put it over there. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Why do I do that? I'll have someone take it to the back. I've got the creams for bruising and burns, but we didn't have enough supplies to make herbal meals. Here's the money. Send my regrets to the doc. Oh, and we just had our supplies delivered. Take them back to the clinic. There's a lot of stuff. One second. I'll get someone to help. No need. <laughs> he carried the whole cart on his shoulders? Yeah, that's what I was expecting. <laughs> How did the clinic find someone so strong? Good morning, sir. Uh, oh, it's Lee. I've been here a few days, but I've never seen this place empty. We just linked up to resupply with Lungman a few days ago, only to run into a catastrophe that forced an emergency separation. That's unfortunate. Lots of merchants and tourists were stranded in Yuman, filling up the inns. Business is good, but it also means more trouble, especially especially when people who are already frustrated start arguing. There are many who would love to have your problem. Although, come to think of it, my head would probably start to hurt if my little business back in Lungman started getting so busy. Would you care to start the day with some tea? Sure. What about the thing I asked you to look into? Here, the human arena board of fame records records from the last six months not so much i can do in the martial artists you're looking for isn't on it so human operates an arena to this day such a martial tradition such a martial tradition is impressive Whew. the lord exorcist lord exorcist trains his troops well and there's no need for folks like us to fight in the battlefield these days so the martial arts need somewhere to hone their kung fu Art, martial artists uh hence the arena anyway i would suggest you stay a few days if it's not urgent with so many people passing through someone like may ha may have seen the one you're looking for you could also ask at the south side sword forge the shifu there knows the city inside and out plus lots of kung fu fighters hanging around okay thank you it's always tough when you don't know the lay of the land Mind if I ask about this thing? Or what this is about? Are you looking for a friend? An enemy? A debt to repay? A debt to collect? Hey, <coughs> I guess you could say this particular individual owes me a pretty big debt. Isn't he a merchant? How long will he be this time? No idea. Will he ever come back? Uh, when it's all done. Do you know what that waifu's... <laughs> waifu? <laughs> what a name. Waifu's birthday is in three days. I wasn't a good husband and I can't be a good father. It's not that... 
I achieve one thing in life. Imagine naming your child Waifu. That's just asking for bullying. A debt to collect, eh? That's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. Yan is a big country. And more than a hundred thousand souls live in human alone. Not easy to find someone who doesn't want to be found. Anyway, your tea's ready. Would you like a side of human style sauteed of meat to go with it? Sure. I'll take a seat and wait for my girl to finish her match. Longman Spring Tea just came in. We only get fresh leaves like these every one few years. Appreciate it. Feels like a waste to use all on me, though. Don't say that. We always value our guests. Hmm. Spring tea from Lungman. Shouldn't have a bitter taste this time of year. It's you? Were you supposed to meet here? Uh, excuse me? No, you're not. Do you, know, you two know each other? Would you care to share a table since we're pretty full today? No, we don't. I'm not staying long. Just a cup of tea. It's fine. It's fine. Very well, then. Let me know if you need anything. Did you mistake me for someone? You look familiar. Uh, must have been an old friend that you haven't seen for ages. I suppose. Stick to your tea. Have one on me. You're buying me a cup of tea even though we don't know each other? All meetings are, are the work of fate. Even the ones that start with a misunderstanding. Here's to finding old friends soon. It'll happen when it happens. No point trying to force it. That's an interesting answer. The answer lies not in the ones we're looking for, but in the journey looking for them. Do you talk so much to everyone? <laughs> ah, I apologize. Uh, are you leaving? I said I wasn't going to stay long. Hmm, how strange. She comes in, steals his tea, leaves. Refuses to elaborate. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to speak to the general first? It's been a while since the last time you came back. Father's a busy man. I should not bother him at work. Perhaps I'm being too much of a busybody, but the Department of Discipline and Supervision found your actions faultless in the Shangshu matter. You should not feel guilty about facing the general. I don't. There's nothing for me to do at home anyway. I thought I might as well take a look around town. The Grand Tutor must have sent me to Yumen, expecting something to happen. I should keep my eyes open. I'll come with you. It's, it's official business. It's been years since the last time you were here, was, hasn't it, Uncle Taihi? Taihi? I don't know. I... <sighs> Japanese, Chinese, Korean names are not possible for me to pronounce ever. It must... Ugh. Must bring back memories. Uh, things have changed a lot. It's impressive that the general has been able to keep the people of humans safe and thriving with constant warfare going on in the north. The arena remains as popular as ever. You still rank fifth in the board of fame. Fame is fleeting. I would be glad to see some young talent knock me off the board. The girl's in the ring right now. Something catch your attention? I was just thinking how your Kung Fu has, would compare to theirs. Ahem. The Grand Tutor says that a sh candle holder's duty is to carry the fire that drives out the shadows of the Farron Moot. Drives out the shadows of the Farron Moot. And to travel amongst the people to learn their troubles. A sense of duty comes first, shrewdness second, Kung Fu comes third, or fourth at best. Indeed. So... How do I compare, then? <laughs> to be frank, while few are as swift as you in a head-to-head -head fight, I would say your chances are 30-70 in the other's favor. Well, yeah, if you don't... The pair have already traded a dozen moves. There's hardly time to catch one's breath. The feline girl advances, launching a flurry of fists that keeps her opponent's weapon hand in check. She kicks out. Her opponent, a girl in exotic garb, goes along with it, leaping back with a kick. Oh. It's Waifu! <laughs> Hold. You're out of the ring. It's true that you couldn't make full use of your ranged weapons in the rain ring, but rules are rules. It's my win. Oh, isn't that the character you unlock with, uh... 
When you beat stage four? Uh, probably. I think so. I think so, because of the horns, though. Uh, is she like a rhino beetle or something? Because that looks like a rhino beetle. Rhinoceros beetle's, uh, pincher. You're very good. I've never seen some anything like your style of fighting. An awkward knees. Lose, lose this. No more fights. A martial artist shouldn't be too obsessed with victory and defeat. But I can't lose here. You want the sword too? Sword? What sword? People in the city say, number one on the board of fame, you get a special sword. No, I just want to climb the ranking so my name can be seen. You, you number 31 means 30 people stronger than you? I suppose so. You are better than me. I guess this won't work. Hey, where are you going? If I win this, I make it to the first page of the board of fame, but will he see it? Oh. Looking for her father? Round 15. The Millennium was hit in the right wrist, right pectoral, central abdomen, and throat. Kubai was not hit. Kubai is the winner. <laughs> I, <laughs> I would have died three times if this was a real battle. Oh, okay. Real battles are about the mind as much as Kung Fu. This is going to be annoying, isn't it? Who knows how often, or how things would have turned out. You are indeed the Grandmaster student. It was humbling. Thank you. Bro, I have so many things open. What the hell? I would like to see the Grandmaster's comments. The recent ones are all here. The Grandmaster has been paying close attention to your bouts. Despite his busy schedule, and he has high praise in particular for your swordsmanship. Something on your mind? I was just thinking that he meant by what he meant by not enough purity in the sword. And how long would it take for me to reach the point where I can beat him? There's no mention of it in the Grand Master's Book of Kung Fu. I don't think he said it to anyone but you. As for beating the Grand Master, I'm not sure how many in the world could have dreamt about such a thing. Uh, you think I'm crazy? My job is simply to follow the Grand Master and record martial arts of the world truthfully. There are many people who... There are many people... What? There are many more people than usual at the training grounds today. What? Why isn't he here? General Zhao... General Zhao has guests. The Grand Master is also meeting an old acquaintance in the keep. I'll be going then. Man Zhao, it was an honor. I have a hair stuck to my mouse. Oh, my mouse just break? Oh, okay. Why do you always treat me like you're, I'm your senior? Even though you've been following the Grand Master for much longer. Grand Master says the, the one who keeps records must be acutely aware of their strengths of others. You are stronger and wiser than I am. I have much to learn from you. If you say so. General Knox and Arrow, drawing the thick bow so full that it looks like a full, full moon. Wow, that's crazy. The hand in the bow trembles slightly and the arrow wobbles with it. The general's brow furrows deeper with each wobble. The arrow pierces the target half an inch away from the bullseye. Good shot, sir. No need to flatter. I know my own body. I could still swing the sword and spear a couple years ago, but now I can hardly hold a bow properly. Even if there's no need for me to stand on the battlefield myself, it's not proper to have a sick man leading the human garrison. My time is short. All the court knows that your injuries bear witness to decades of service in defense of human. I'm not concerned about my health or life, but I have some unfinished business. The Grand Tutor has instructed me to assist you. I'll help you manage human's return. Do the Grand Tutor say assist? I'm sure you understand his intentions. I haven't thanked you for your help in Shangshu yet. I apologize for the trouble that Zhao Li caused. He's still young and inexperienced. You exaggerate, sir. You must understand what a father feels. Zhao Li... Oh my god, I don't know what these burps are coming from. Has done well, but he is in a position that does not permit any mistake, no matter how small. Lord Zhao is young and bright. A rising star. It's not unusual for young people to be a little impetuous. 
I would not ooh, worry too much about it. What about me, Leong? Am I impetuous to you? I believe you have your reason, sir. <laughs> Word of your benevolent administration in Shang Shu has reached even human, Leong. Yong. But I have I have you ever seen a battle with your own eyes? There were pirates on the Shang Shu River a few years ago, but nothing compared to the battles that you have seen. Then you understand that making decisions as a general in the field is different than managing from a desk. The battlefield is ever changing, and thousands of lives hinge on your every decision. Which do you think is more important than decisiveness or caution? The bestial Shui matter is pressing. Bestial? Bestial? Okay, whatever. We must act. I am much illuminated. <laughs> but he seems a little annoyed by this talk. Or this conversation. This talk. In your position as human advisor, you are on the battlefield and we are comrades. I hope you understand my way. I trust you, sir. I'll give my all. However, the Farron move problem is neither administrative nor military. I trust your decisiveness and... But I also ask that you trust my caution. Right. Another arrow. This one striking the bullseye square. Would you care to try, Leung? Your reputation is that of a scholar warrior, equally at home with sword and bow as with pen and paper. The, the human bow is heavy, though. Do you feel up to it? He shoots through the other dude's arrow. <laughs> Chief Executive Wei Yuan Yu. Yen Wu of Lungmen is here, sir. Oh, wait, what? Wei? He's winning the meeting hall. Very well. Mr. Lin's daughter is a few days early. It was about time for Lord Wei to arrive. The Grand Tutor has arrived as well. Did the Grand Tutor and Lord Wei travel together? I expect Lord Wei is here on private matters. Official or private, there are still two honored guests at the same table. Looks like you're not the only one here to give me counsel today, Leong. Who the hell is the Grand Tutor? This is cool. My dear elder brother. I had a dream last night. I dreamed I heard the wind rushing by, the, by at midnight. I opened the window to find the desert that had become a sea of sprouting trees. Some of them even in full bloom. The branches of the trees grew and formed a web trapping human within. Few are those who truly break away from home. Do you still miss human? What was the what was the saying you had when you left human last time? I forgot. This is cool. The artwork in this game has always been good. Like there hasn't been one that I thought was just okay. What was the saying you had when you left human last time? I forgot. Neath crisp with night merriment rounds resounds. Jesus Christ. I didn't mean to do that. Neath crisp night, merriment resounds. Travelers doubt it's truly frontier bound. A new one. It's been a while. Looks like your thoughts have changed. These are the characters. Ling. Uh, weren't you a five star? Uh, century is not too long, but I came back at this point in the dream. To me, a hundred years is simply 30,000 days and nights. Okay. Yeah, that's, I guess. <laughs> the urgent reports, the scouts are departing, the messengers are turning. The watch has changed innumerable times since you left, and countless new bricks and stones set into its wall. But it still stands. Did you see Neon and Dusk in Shangshu? Yeah. They haven't changed one bit. They found a... a ch Jesus... Sorry, I had to sneeze really bad suddenly, and it was just kept, like, tickling right here. They've had a place to stay. A place where they can have fun. And so, you met our second brother. We lesser siblings always worry our eldest brother, don't we? Dusk is a sensitive and thoughtful little sister, but she keeps it to herself and tells no one. Which is why she's often troubled. Neon looks carefree on the surface, but she fears loneliness more than any of us. She constantly needs something new to keep her mind occupied. I don't have much to worry about you. 
other than maybe you getting too drunk and forgetting to pay your tab. But as your old oldest sister, but as the oldest sister, and without any official responsibilities, it would be good if you spent more time with your younger siblings. You accuse me of being an irresponsible big sister? How many families are like ours? From who do I learn? I have to figure things out on my own. But our foolish sisters just don't know how to rise above things. They keep making it hard for themselves. Don't blame them for being self-troubled. Put yourself in their shoes and you may not find it easy to free yourself from troubles. I'm not as free as you are. After all, you've managed to completely cut yourself off and find any an entirely new self. The name Shuo and the Sliver of Soul are sealed within the sword. Now, I'm just an ordinary man who knows a little kung fu. A little? How many martial artists would abandon their careers if they heard you just now? Taking into account the fact that I've had centuries of practice, uh, perhaps I should call myself a less than ordinary. The sands lose their churns, though through tons of sand every second, clearing a path for humans advance. Wait, what? It's moving? The massive nomadic city rolls towards an, its new goal at high speed. Whoa, it's a moving city. Okay. Where are you planning to go after you leave human? I'll go south to see the bridges and streams. Here, have some of the Heartland Brew, or see the place where Neon and Dusk are staying. Yanghu world is big. There are plenty of places to go. But I suppose all the people who... All the people with whom I have shared a toast are gone now. In the distance, the heat rising from the ocean of sands warps heaven and earth. The wind is weak, but by the time it reaches the tower... The wind is weak by the time it reaches the tower. The sand in the wind touches the cheeks, almost like a caress. <laughs> 3,000 miles of yellow sand in the blink of an eye. Oh, this was the six star. Check the serial numbers on the gear. It's the Catastrophe Messengers group, which should have been back this morning. Traces of Originium explosives. The bodies have probably crystallized and turned into dust. Watch out for Originium residue. This is less than two hours from the city. Who would attack a Catastrophe Messenger on official business so close to a nomadic city? Everything valuable has been taken. It would make sense if this was the work of bandits. Or someone who wants to make it look like the work of bandits. Keep looking. We need to find the catastrophe survey data. Found it! It was a little further away, under a piece of broken armor. They protected it with their lives. There's no time. Get it back to the city, but keep your eyes open. Someone's attacking their messengers. Why would they attack someone that's trying to warn others of a catastrophe coming? That seems like not a good plan. <laughs> okay, let's just go into the next one. Uh, we should be safe now that we've made it to human. Don't let your guard down. We will return to the barracks and present the data to the Imperial Astronomical Bureau first. Uh, then we will make a report to General Zhao about the situation outside the city. Of course. They're under attack! <laughs> and not a second after I finish. Ambush! Protect Envoy Lin and fall back. No need. We're surrounded. Who goes there? How dare you intercept a military unit? Whoa. Watch out, Envoy Lin. Arts that turn sand into glass. How quaint. I've had a feeling... Things were quite right since before we made it to the city. I take it you're the from the after the catastrophe observation data. You killed the entire team of messengers, but you weren't able to find the data, so you had no choice but to arrange the crime scene to look like you've been robbed by bandits. How shabby! Kill the broad first. <laughs> she must be holding the target. Watch out for her arts. You think you have the advantage because you have more men? Hmm. A mace flies through the air and smashes into the scoundrel standing in front of Lin Yusha. Yusha? 
That's a... I don't know what that pronunciation is because of the dots and stuff. Until he crashes into the road's flagstones, shattering them to pieces. The maze should not... Cannot be more normal. But it must have... Must have seen better days, given how smooth its surface has become. A man steps forward to pick up the mace and stands in front of Lin Yusha. A regular bladesmith. His face has been scalded red by the flames of his forge and plowed into a ravine by the sandstorm. Like a war drum that's crude yet firm and tough nonetheless. Impudence. He scared him away alone. Uncle Meng, I'll go after them. Yo, 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 <laughs> we must first check on the warriors with all haste. Okay. The scoundrels are, you, were ruthless with their attacks. Are you all right, fair lady? They don't have what it takes to hurt me. So the men are injured. Their lives are not in danger, though. Only passed out. They dare look for trouble with government troops in broad daylight. Makes me wonder how, where these people come from. <sighs> Uncle Ben, what do you say I take one of them back for interrogation? We do not, we do not know the first thing about the enemy, yo. You must learn not to be so rash. Judging by your outfit, you are not from human, yet you have the protection of human's forces. I must assume you are no ordinary lady. May I ask where, why these bandits are giving you trouble? I'm on official business. Don't ask any further. You little... And who are you? Why are you here? The name is Meng Tiai. I run a sword forge in the southern end of the city. This is Du Yao. I'm just going to say Yao. Because Yagi. <laughs> du Yai. Uh, she just came here from Changshu. I own Xingyu Logistics. Yumin's top logistics company. We're heading to the city gate to arrange a welcome. This is the first time the guys I brought with me from Changshu are on a human job. It's a huge gig. They're escorting a catastrophe messenger, even. Of course, I had to be there to welcome them. Judging by the time, they should be back soon. Uncle Meng, catastrophe messenger. I have a feeling you don't need to go. <laughs> yeah, they're probably dead. Oh. It's Wei. Yeah, it's the furry guy. Have you taken a fancy to another weapon here in my tent? It's fine. I have no need for all these weapons. If you'd like, perhaps you could take my army's entire army if you, with you to Lungman. Please, Lord Exorcist. Even if you had no need for all these armaments yourself, Yumin needs them for its defenses. If memory serves me right, you and I made a bet a decade ago, and you made off with a fine blade I had only just obtained. Then, five years ago, you made off with a bow the Tianxi bureaus bestowed upon me after a bit of drinking. Then allow me to invite you to another round of drink today. Please, win if that is what if that is your wish. Hold back no more. I'm joking. All these years, Lungman has been providing human with the resources we need. And not once have we seen a delay in shipments. Based on this fact alone, I certainly should have sent you a few gifts myself. It's the least I could do. But as the chief of Lungman, I understand you must have... Plenty of, wait, certainly you must have more important business to attend to than personally visiting human today. You would say I'm not here for business. A few days ago, a few days without Chief Wei, won't see Lungman falling into chaos. And it's not so bad if Wei, Yun, when Yen Wu finds some time to pay an old friend a visit. It happens, the Grand Master's retirement is near, and I will be there in attendance. His retirement is indeed quite troublesome. That blade of his requires the most attentive treatment. Well, it seems in the end, this troublesome topic falls on me to explain. Grandmaster, Miss Ling, long time no see. Oh, she's the Grandmaster? Okay. Or is he? I don't know. One of them. Whoa, is that his skin? It's all gray. Creepy. It's been some time indeed. Ah. Uh, with so many old friends in attendance, that's reason to drink. That's reason enough for drink. <laughs> Have you perhaps prepared some wine for us, General Zhao? Given your service to young Yuman, I it would be my honor to share a drink with you, Miss Ling. That said, I'm afraid it must wait for another time. 
I heard you have already made up your mind, and you wish to bestow your blade upon the winner of the Kung Fu Scramble? Martial arts are merely the first of many ways I will be evaluating prospective successors. I will be judging whether they are worthy of my blade via other means. And I was under the impression that you would have known this long ago. Circumstances were different the last time you brought this up. And if I am to say, although this blade must eventually be given to someone suitable, this is not the most opportune time to do so. Grandmaster, after all this time, of all the men and women in your noble, in your whole army, you've never seen a suitable candidate? What a lively gathering. Creepy. My, my apologies for not personally receiving you, Grand Tutor. It's been far too many years, but you seem as spirited as ever, Grand Tutor. All of you are standing citizens who <laughs> defend the peace of Great Yon's borders. Your magnificence, your magnificence gathered together in one place is truly a sight for sore eyes. Alas, we have no time for idle conversation today, for we have urgent matters to that hand. We have all gathered, General Zhao. Get, send the men away. On my way here, I just so happened to have come across a returning patrolman. Let us listen to him. Four hours ago, our men on the city walls noticed a distress signal from afar. When we got there, we found the catastrophe messenger team that Yumin deployed three days ago has been wiped out. Huh? <laughs> Yao, did you not design this banner yourself? Why pack it up? Are you perhaps considering making your way home? Are you regretting letting the keys go on this job? I'm not regretting letting, not going with them. Oh, I'm regretting not going with them. You heard the envoy just now. Of the team of ten, not one survived. The moment they got the stress signal, they immediately left to give their assistance, but were killed on their way back. They are not roving bandits we are dealing with. These are not roving bandits that we are dealing with. What could have been possibly done to change the outcome if you were there? Uncle Meng, I'm guessing you must have seen this, these things happen many times before? What do you think? Over a decade ago, the Xing Yu Escort and Association came to Yumin for a few jobs. That was when your father and I met each other. We've had a, we've had little contact with each other in the last few years, but our friendship goes deep. He often talks about you too. Two weeks ago, you came to my forge and told me you wanted to start your own logistics company. It may only have been a decade or so, but much has changed over these years. It's not strange. It's nothing strange for the youngsters to want to strike out on their own. On top of that, your knowledge of the escort business. Yeah. On top of that, your knowledge of the escort business and wilderness survival is no worse than any of the old veterans. I should have expected no less from the asker of the frost's daughter. What the hell is that? This is why I took you in. I know little about modern logistics, but having spent all these years in human, I could at least find some opportunities for you. In hindsight, it would seem I led your friend I led to your friend's undoing. I was the one who brought them to human. I was also the one who sent them on this job. I got a lot of messages suddenly, sorry. Their deaths are on me, and I won't shirk that responsibility. It puts my mind at ease to see you have that resolve. Be it the Escort Association or Logistics Company, things will always be the same. For the sake of your livelihood, we put our lives on the line. If you wish to make a name for yourself in this business, you need to understand how heavy the weight on your shoulders is. Yao. Yeah, he... <laughs> it doesn't matter whether this is the path you will end up taking or not i want to remember i want you to remember how you feel this very moment for the rest of your life yeah of course i'll remember but i won't let the culprit here get away with killing them nice she's gonna find the person who killed her friend well this has been another productive day for you hasn't it try to get some rest now I've left you two dishes. The cooks have reheated it already. 
This inn has a chef of truly magnificent culinary skill. It makes me want to learn a couple things from him. I'm not hungry. I can't eat this right now. You can look for your good-for-nothing father, but you need to eat nonetheless. Without the stamina, how are you going to beat him when you find him? <laughs> These chopsticks them <laughs> silently. Uh, what happened to your hand? I scraped myself in a match today, but a wound like this is nothing. Human's Arena is open all day long, and I was up against a lots of a tough opponents, and I won in the end. That explains why the inn keeps so many medicines in stock. Wait, here. I'll bring you some. Show me your hand. Oof. It's only in times like these that I remember your Wai Tin Pui, or I guess out of out here he's Wai Tian Pei, his daughter. We're nothing alike. He's a grown man, but he shrinks all he shirks all of his responsibilities, washes his hands of everything. I've been living a fairly decent, productive life on my own, but him, he was already a lawbreaker back when I was still a kid. You're still you're exactly right. That's why we should take him straight to the nearest LGD office the moment we find him. Uncle Lee, do you think he's really here in Newman? I heard a rumor that someone saw him of here a year ago. It's from your Uncle Leung, and I have no choice but to believe him. He's really in Newman. He has no he has to have seen my name on the rankings at the city gate by now. It's been so many years, the least he could have done was stop by to check on me when he was passed through Lungman. Does that mean he doesn't care about me, or is he trying to avoid me? Now, I can't say how fathers feel about their daughters, but blood is thicker than water, nothing that changes that. I have faith that you two will see each other one day. The question is whether you two will find the answers you seek once you meet. Actually, I'm still not sure I'm prepared to see him. In that case, let's say we walk outside right now and we bump into him. What are you going to do? I'm going to break his jaw. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That concludes my summary. The catastrophe data has been sent to Imperial, Imperial Astronomical Bureau's Observatory and a provisional new course has been charted based on the computation's results. The injured men have all been sent to the infirmary and Envoy Lin is currently investigating the rest. Hmm. Thank you. You are excused. A catastrophe is approaching and I all allowed this to happen with human, within human borders. At this crucial time, I apologize for my negligence. You need not belittle yourself so. The important thing right now is to find the identity of the malefactors. Your thoughts, Lord Exorcist? The Sh Shan Hai Zhang. Oh shit, my mouse just broke. Ah! Sorry. Oh no, I skipped it. Go back! Oh my god, why is it so slow? This should have been eradicated 20 years ago. The wild hunt of the Farinmut a thousand years ago ended the era of their rampage across the land of, of Great Yon. Oh, did that? Did that? Yet this was unable. Yet this was unable to quell the masses' reverence of those terrible monsters. There have always been those who worshipped the Farinmut's power and revered them as gods. They considered themselves followers of the Farinmut's and banded together to locate any traces of them. Isn't that what uh? Kerrig people do? Because Kerrigander is a Farron moot. The Sui Regulator has for a long time been tracking the movements of this lawless organization, and ever since the offender's commotion, it's like these rebels have been inspired by something, and they've been growing more and more active. They call themselves the Shanghai Zong. The mounts be sees the mounts sees and all in between shall be our masters, or so they claim. Their motto their motto couldn't be any more absurd, but it attracted a great number of followers to join their cause. Not only do they have adherents from a variety of backgrounds far and wide, they have been plotting atrocities in the name of the Farinmutes. Hard to imagine there are so those who find it, find it harder to put this thousand year grudge behind them than us. It's been two decades. This is their second time making trouble here in Newman. Newman itself is a symbol of the Yon's triumph over the Farinmutes. 
these villains naturally have a reason to do it harm. And with Yumin set to sail afar, the Shanghai Zong's actions point directly to information regarding the commotion, oncoming catastrophe. Jesus Christ, the commotion. What is wrong with me? I read a word in my brain, and then by the time it reaches my mouth, a completely different word comes out. Directly to information regarding the oncoming catastrophe, I can only assume they've learned of Yumin's destination. Investigate this immediately and ensure peace in Yumin. Accept no failure. They did not succeed 20 years ago, and they will not succeed this time. The reason I summoned all of you here today is to discuss what to do with the Grandmaster Sword. After what happened in Shangshu, there is no doubt that the offender has already made contact with the other proxies. Sealed within the Grandmaster Sword is one twelfth of the Bestial Sui's consciousness. Isn't this precisely so why we mustn't underplay the transfer of the sword? As things stand, the other 180 black stones are yet missing. No one knows where his next move will lead us. Should we treat all the world's affairs as a game of Go, no one can claim to be able to best him in terms of calculations. There is very little distance between him and the sweet regulator. To leave the regulator to, in charge of the sword would only achieve the opposite of what we intend. Against such an opponent, opponent an irrational move might actually be the most brilliant one. Finding a suitable outsider to take the blade might be the solution we need. My little brother has caused all of you so much trouble after all. If this is the both the if this is this both the Grand Tutor and the Grandmaster's intentions, I have no objection. Grandmaster, is something the matter? Assist the Lord Exorcist in suppressing the Sang Shanghai Zui. What? Shanghai Zong. What the hell did I say? <laughs> This is the Sui Regulator's last task for you. Once a suitable candidate has been found, the court will allow you to roam free within ha Yan's borders and interview with you no longer. Human citizens may not know your name, and even though you and I will no longer live in a hundred years, the scrolls in the Re Sui Regulator's libraries will record everything you've done for Yan. With my dream about to be realized, I have no reason to complain. I simply do not know whether I should lament that I will not get to stay <laughs> with this city to its final moments. Hmm? Something on your mind, Miss Ling? Do any of you smell something floral, perhaps? I should say it's peach blossoms? Peach blossoms? Boom! They just get passed out. Located in a harsh, desolate sand pit, there's no way for peaches to grow in the Lord Exorcist's courtyard. Likewise, peach trees do not normally bloom this time of year in Yumin. However, everyone in attendance can smell the thick aroma of peaches wafting through the window, like the moonlight peeking through. They also see a single, vividly red petal drifting into the hall and gently floating downward. Well, if it isn't that strange... Watch out! It's a bomb. A blade appears almost out of thin air. Its tip pauses not an inch from Wen Yu Yu's throat. A freezing chill pierces the flesh of everyone in the room, just as the soothing aroma of the flower quells any discomfort they had. You caught my blade with your bare hands. You can take pride in that. Oh, is she the lady from the... From the inn? With your advanced kung fu? Why do you... Something as vile as... And base... <laughs> Based. As ambush us. I have a question for you myself. With your immense power, why opt for that frail body? You know me? Ling, I follow. Whoa! <laughs> and Tudor, General Zhao, are you okay? We're fine. To think someone could dodge a concerted attack from both Lord Wei and the Grand Master. Unbelievable. Thank you for your assistance, Grand Master. Given her prowess, she must be skilled in more than just one melee combat. Grandmaster, the sentries will be here soon. Let us prioritize capturing the assassin. Be careful. Woo! 
<laughs> what a fine lady, leaving us already after scattering these petals around us. If you would disturb our gathering, why not stay for a little longer? Let's see what you are trying to keep me that here with. A dream? You can tell this is a dream? You still have this power, even after dividing yourself into twelfths? Huh? You know not only me, but him as well? I want to see him, and you are not him. I am I. Naturally, and why do I why do you wish to see him? Even in a dream, I don't want to waste any time on you. Your fanciful dream cannot keep me here. It seems you've dreamt for a long, long time yourself. Now that you've awakened and returned to the mortal realm, it seems hostilities are unavoidable. So well animated. <laughs> you want my life? Perhaps you should tell me what kind of grudge you have against me. I don't need to have a grudge against you to want your life. Kung Fu is fine in a place, in the place of a grudge. Let me have another taste of your prowess. You don't deserve it. The woman takes a step back. Her blade slashes through the air like a strong blast of wind. Nonetheless, the tip of her blade is an inch too far from her target. Sharp as it may be, her target is unharmed. <laughs> oh my god, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> the, wind, the winds are strong in the city walls. Don't let the sand blind you. Do all of you have such catchphrases to drop before you attack? Enough. You have nowhere to run. Surrender. <laughs> you have quite the party here. Whoa. The woman slowly raises her sword in her hand. The gleam reflected by its blade shines just like the moon above. The moonlight itself is an opening in the dark sky from which the awakening of spring flowers abundantly. Though it is mid-March, the peach trees are blooming as vibrantly as could be. There are no passerby to be found anywhere, and only the aroma of flowers linger in the area. But if you, but if I don't want to stay, can any of you really keep me here? Is she the big baddie? Is she a bat? Because that looks like a bat's ear. I don't know. Um. Whoa, that's even cooler. The art in this game is always so good. Oh, is it combat time? Time to beat the shit out of her. Okay, with that there, and that there, that there. I'm listening. There you go. Tail like a shooting star, that's what they say. GG. GG easy. Gains increased attack range when on human catastrophe defenses. Well, good thing you're not going to get up there. Bruh. I mean, honestly. That's not who I clicked. That's not who I clicked! Yeah, okay. It's over. Degenbrecker's attack is so fucking high. <laughs> oh, who needs a tank? Oh, 
Oh, I thought it was going to be the peaceful music again. Who goes there? Stop right there. Do you know where you are and exactly what that sword you're holding is? It's a sword. The sword that I've been looking for. Let us set aside the question for the time being who it is you are working for and how you made your way in here. Hand over the sword. I'll take you to the Grand Master. A fickle-minded, perfidious man like him does not deserve to keep this sword. Impudence! The Grand Master has defended humans' peace for a hundred years. How dare you speak ill of him? How pretentious. What do you even know? Out of my way! I've arrested no small number of criminals, but you are the first one I met to be so arrogant. Solemn on the outside, but self-centered on the inside. I met plenty of men like you. I see I have no choice but to get you to comply forcefully, then. Try it. Oh, they're still fighting her? It's like someone just got punched. It's over. You've lost. This isn't where we settle this. You would leave. Surely you would leave us with an explanation? I want answers, but you have none to give me. You let her get away? With her injuries, she won't get far. With her injuries, she won't get far? <laughs> Why? Your old bones don't seem to be much use here. My sincerest gratitude, Lin. You're the master of the truth, Shizhou! Yet, you need someone to come to your rescue when you have mortal enemy come attacking? I do not remember having made such an enemy. A faint. She's still there? Hmm. You're injured. Where can you run? That way. Off that way. Woo! <laughs> you... Watch out, Grandmaster. Oh, she just jumps off the ledge. Grandmaster, what happened here? This is my fault. The sword has been taken. The sword with a soul? General, the assassin cannot be found within five miles of the inner city, and there are no signs of her receiving assistance from anyone. No one else has was ambushed, and neither the inner city core nor the armory show signs of having been infiltrated. No signs, or has it been confirmed they have not been infiltrated? We cannot say for sure at this time. How could someone infiltrate the human barracks and roam free? Even after facing our fork masters here. Extraordinary. I was too careless. Do you know, have any clues regarding the identity, identity of your assassin, Lord Way? Over the years, I've come across many who wanted my life, but I am alive and well nonetheless. All of them have either given up on the idea or perished long ago. I am not acquainted with a friend tonight. Zali, any, any discoveries on your end? It all happened too suddenly. I wasn't prepared, and I wasn't able to take the assassin in as a result. I'm not asking why you're unable to capture the assassin. I'm asking what you saw. Uh, it was a young female assassin who infiltrated us and took the sword. She was hurt when she made her escape. Aside from that, I'm afraid I don't have anything. The cup shatters, with the Lord Exorcist seizing all of its fragments in thin its hand. Even with the distinguished guest in attendance, at that moment he finds himself unable to quell his anger, just as he was un <laughs> able to control his shaking hand as he drew his bowstring earlier. Now it has come to this. Talking about it will do us no good. Send the order out. Seal the city gates immediately. And set set up checkpoints between each district. Do not allow the unnecessary travel between them. In addition, send the word to the entire city. <clears throat> At the hour of Shen, two days from now, Yumin will slow and adjust course. Have the masses to make ready for this. Yes, sir. Zali. Sir. Capture the assassin. Locate the Grand Master Sword. And find the Shanghai Zong hiding in the city do all three without failure you have three days my personal troops are yours to command keep the secret and do not disturb the people yes sir where's lin he left as soon as the soldiers came lin has no standing in the court meaning he has no right to stand in attendance as you give your orders is there anything i can assist with seeing as the assassin is after your life your safety should be the top priority 
Once this commotion calms, I will send a battalion to escort you back to Lungman. I ask you stay indoors for the next few days. Huh. May I ask what you mean by that? Exactly what I said. Human will take care of the rest. Of course. Our foe this time is exceptionally skilled. Should I... Perhaps I should... I ask you to stay in the barracks and assure the Grand Tutors and Lord Way's safety. It is equally dangerous to allow the criminal to roam free in the city. This affair began because of the Farron Moots. <laughs> That's so funny. Considering you are who you are, you should not get yourself involved. After all, the only ones who know your true identity are all here in the room. General's tone is hardly heavy. It's hardly heavy, yet it fills the entire building with silence. A sigh can be heard from one of its corners. Very well. <laughs> Do you have any objections to this arrangement, Grand Tutor? I trust your judgment, Lord Exorcist. Very well. Ex execute these orders at once. Is it going to cut to the girl again? No? Oh, it's back to him. Grand Master, are you alright? I don't believe there's anyone alive who could do harm to him. It seems you really believe in me. From the sound of it, you have heard already. Let us set aside the issues. Let us set aside the issue. So, the issue of the soldiers outside the city for the time being. The defense of human was part of your responsibilities to begin with. Considering this arrangement, Zhou, Zhou Zhuan Lao clearly doesn't trust you. Naturally, I understand and emphasize with General Zhou's position, which is why I have a few things I need to help me. I need you to help me with. Over the next few days, this is highly unusual, and the foe we are up against is especially treacherous. Treacherous. I hope you'll lend Zhao Li a helping hand. Given how he is, I may not be able. I may not be. He may not be very receptive to me meddling with his affairs. In that case, it would seem now is not the time for us to resolve the matter between us. You need not say any more. I know the score. With how little I have to do with the next few days, I am hoping you will be able to help me finish writing the last few chapters of the Book of Kung Fu as quickly as possible. It is my duty as your student. Thank you. Is there no If there is nothing else, Grandmaster, I will take my leave. Please get some rest soon. The man sighs, perhaps at the sight of the empty sword mount on the wall or something else. How many more will you drag into this game? Once a pure stream of water flows in a polluted lake, you can no longer scoop any clean water from it. Don't you understand that? Even if you try to replace it, you will never find her in all of the chaos. Why torment yourself with all this? The sound of the patrol's clanking armor can yet be heard from afar, with nothing but a deafening silence otherwise. The night is deep. The clamorous night... Uh, the clamorous night finally calms. He lets out another long sigh. <sighs> Just crawling. Hmm? Very brave of you. How could I have failed to realize that you were here as well? Of course I am here too. Are you going to stop me? A skilled Go player making no skillful moves in an entire game. Your actions are really a bit too radical. Oh, or maybe it's because your time is limited. If that's where you're going, you barely have any time left yourself. You think, really think we can ignore everything just because that man sealed his self away in the sword? I came here for the one. Why would I be cons concerned about only one twelfth? I could ask you what makes you think that you can become him. I won't become him. I am no one but myself. He and I, we have a score to settle. That grudge of yours, that grudge is yours and yours only. We are not enemies. That's not for you to decide. At the very least, at this point in time, we both have more important things to accomplish. We won't be a hindrance to each other. Is that a truce you are seeking? It's in both of our interests. You have no reason to refuse. You really are nothing like your brothers and sisters. I hope you'll show me something more interesting the next time that we meet. So she's working with someone that is one of the twelve? Miss, I heard you. Keep it down. I thought I told you not to seek me out in broad daylight. 
Oh, he's not a tourist. Okay. It's good to see all of you in one piece. Any progress on your end? The human markets are open the f for the first time in years. There are too many wares and people flowing in and out. We have no leads. If it's not so convenient for us to look into this, let's have somebody else do it. What do you mean? How many of the merchants in the markets here are locals, and how many are from Lungman? How many of the people behind us have missing paperwork at the LGD or are in hock to us? Sift through them and find someone who have an easier time than we would. It's not that hard. Dai Shu Zhu Zhe Shu Zhe. This sounds like it would be against the rules. Do as I say. Hmm. <laughs> Why did she give him an angry face at the end there? Two weeks ago. Baron Moot followers? You needn't know where the intel came from. Out of all the enemies that Yan has faced in the past thousand years, no small number of them lurked in the shadows. You and may rely on Lungman for its supplies, but you shouldn't be responsible for security within their borders. Human is an impenetrable shield, but there are pests hiding behind that shield. They need to be exterminated by others. I want to send you there to take care of this. You can operate as a special LGD commanding officer. On paper, you'll be in charge of security while the two cities are connected, and you will have a certain level of support from me. I need you to run a thorough investigation into the dangerous elements hiding among human citizenry and ensure it's smooth sailing. Uh, should the need arise, you may resort to the most extreme measures. Why me? Because you are Lin Yusha. Uh, because you can take care of this. I want you to do... I want you to do in Yumin what the Rat King did in Lungmin all those years ago. Chief Wei, you didn't discuss this with my father before you came to me, did you? That's not good. Who's your father? Yusha. Dad? You didn't tell me you were coming. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's your dad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dad, you didn't tell me you were coming. <laughs> you accepted when you use Yen Wu's mission. I came to take a look. So you've heard. Investigating smugglers, eh? I didn't want to trouble you. Look at you. Going through all the trouble to hide this from me. It's way y when you... Yen Wu's who you should be troubling. You never considered turning this down? Somebody has to maintain the peace here. Wei Yen Wu... Yen Wu has many a capable uh, character under his wing. Why must you of all people clean up his mess? I... Never mind. I can figure out what kind of excuses Wei is making, even if I had to think <laughs> of my tail. You should know what's happened tonight. So that's why the soldiers locked the city gate. So much has happened in the span of a day. If this is really a coincidence, it would be. It would be. A, it'd have to be a hell of a coincidence. The chief of Lungmen finds himself the target of an assassination attempt. The Grand Master has his sword taken, and an Imperial Astro Astronomical Bureau messenger was killed. Each of those would make the headlines on its own, and they all occurred within hours of each other. It's unimaginable to what kind of forces are behind them. When Wei Yen Wu comes to you, came to you, did he ex explain explain how dangerous this was going to be? All I knew was this wasn't going to be a walk in the park. Human is not Lungman, and we are, and you are not me. I know that well. I will deal with this carefully. The agents I brought with me are from Lungman, are all masters in their fields, and have followed you for years. Plus, I know the world of Jiang Jiang Hu. I've seen enough. If you know what it is you are doing, then I won't keep rambling. I just hope this will be resolved quickly enough without. Delaying your trip to Victoria. These hiccups are awful. It's just a... It's just a what? A study trip. I don't have to go. You helped me and the LGD take care of plenty of things for the last few years. To, to the point you haven't been able to do what you truly wanted to do yourself. I did that all on my own volition. And it was all for Lungman. It's not your ch own choice if you haven't been... If you haven't seen another path. Sometimes I wonder if... Perhaps like Chen, you should... <coughs> 
<laughs> Dad, are you hurt? I'll get a doctor. No need. It's been years since I've taxed my arms and legs so much. My bones are aching. Looks like w taking walks in the park every day isn't quite <laughs> enough exercise. I'll take you back to the general's estate. No need for that either. I'll find an inn nearby to stay the night. Even getting to meet old friends once is once a plenty. <laughs> and I can't stand the atmosphere in that house in tonight. My, what a coincidence. I heard a commotion at the edge of the city earlier in the evening, and I figured something big must have happened, and now I find you here, Mr. Lin. I'm sure something big must have happened. So what are you saying? What you are saying is an old rat like me might as well be a plague? <laughs> of course not. I was only joking. Yusha, let me have a few words with Mr. Yee, Lee in private. Please excuse me. That's his daughter. Okay. <laughs> From the looks of it, your research or your search in human hasn't been too successful. Don't get me started. The man, <laughs> the man has been gone for well over a decade. I was never banking on finding him within a month. But it doesn't matter how long it takes. We still have to look for him. You are a carefree man. It's only when it con concerns this old friend of yours that you burden yourself so much. Maybe I owe him. For my past life. Since you aren't in a hurry, may I hire Lee's detective agency for a job? How can I refuse a job from Mr. Lin himself? That gets me thinking, though. Haven't I been taking a few, taking on a few too many troublesome jobs lately? It goes to show what a capable man you are. <laughs> we'll say I owe you one if you do this for me. Well, with such a generous offer on the table, looks like I really have to think this over and see if I can manage it. <laughs> Only a crafty fellow like you can manage this. It's waifu! One, two, nine, ten. Uh, all the names above me on the rankings look pretty tough. Okay, calm down. Just do your best. Why can't I leave the city? Two of my brothers just died out there. The gate is closed. Please leave. Hey, be reasonable. Can't you... You? Whoa, the Forte hunk <laughs> with the golden mace just got kicked out of the arena. That feline girl has just won five straight matches now. Woo! Hey, Ni Hao. <laughs> Ni Hao. <laughs> I watched all of your matches today. You've got amazing kung fu. Want to come work for me in my escort association? Escort association? Not interested. Don't be so quick to refuse. With your skills, I can give you a more than decent wage. I'm not planning on making a living with my fists. I have a degree in mechanical engineering. I'll have you know. Mechanical what? Never mind that. That just means that you're something of a scientist, right? Yeah, science. The escort association I'm talking about is a new kind of logistics company. Uh, science graduates like you have a bright future with us. Hey, don't just walk away. I'm serious. <laughs> So, that just happened. It sounds you're going to have to wait. It sounds like you're going to have to wait until the lockdown is over before you can take your friends' belongings and news of their deaths back to home to Shangshu. I'm the one who brought them here. No matter how, I will bring them home. Before I came to Yumen, I ran into Mr. Zhang in Shangshu by chance. He told me that when the day comes that no one needs Kung Fu to protect themselves, that's when we finally have true peace. Dad is right about that, but for now, I'm more fond of another saying, an eye for an eye. I will find the one who did this. What are you two doing here? Yusha? The government official lady from earlier? I thought you said you'd get to the bottom of this. How are you going to get to the bottom of anything when we're in lockdown? You two know each other? There's been a turn of events. Things are apparently trickier than I thought. <sighs> then let me investigate with you. I can help too. It's too dangerous. I can't drag outsiders. Boom. What's that sound? Drums from the outer city district? Look, the beacons are lit on the city walls. It's the Wang Feng Festival, one of humans' traditions. It's a ceremony held every year at the beginning of the spring, and it's last three days. The drums are the, at the barracks are beaten for the citizens' benefit. Each beat tells them the city, the lands, and all Great Yan are safe. 
As for signal fires on the city walls, they are lit to guide the soldiers who gave their lives on the battlefield home. Home. Catastrophes sweep across the country. Barbarians terrorize the borderlands. And bandits stir up trouble everywhere. The drums are beaten 17 times, representing the trials and tribulations that befell human in the past year, both big and small. This border city has crossed the country's northern regions for centuries, and its citizens are hardened by these disasters. The great wind cannot extinguish the flames in the meadow. The men's eyes fix upon their homes through the night. Clear. All targets down. Well. Wow, that was two hours. Holy shit. Okay. I am out of time for this video then. Um, That was the first part of Where Vernal Winds Will Never Blow. I'm excited to read more about it. Especially, uh, the thing that I'm most excited about is to learn more about the Farron Moots. And, uh... Because they said it several times that they were terror to the people in the north. So I'm really curious to see if, like, I'm just curious to see what they did. Like, how the Farinmoots attacked them and destroyed everything, apparently. I'm also learning, I'm excited to learn more about the uh, people who worship them, too. So there's going to be a lot of fun with this one, I think. I'm just going to get this right away because I need money. Bad. Yes, ma'am. Um, that's it though. So, if you like this video, like and subscribe. I love having you guys around. I'm definitely going to play more of the event. It's a rerun, so people probably already know it and whatever. But I am i haven't seen it before, so I'm going to be playing it through. Um, so if you want to see the next one, subscribe and turn on notifications. It will let you know when I sub or post again. Um, other than that though, the Discord's in the description. We have active members in there. Go down there and tell me how you think about the series I'm playing. Uh, both the Minecraft and the Arknights. Um, if you want to support the channel and buy me a coffee, go over to my Ko-Fi. That will also be in the description. Um, like I said, though, this is a lot of fun. And I do plan on doing Minecraft still. Probably more often. I think Tuesdays and Thursdays, Thursdays might be best. Because playing Arknights too much is making my head go a little crazy. <laughs> Uh, that's it though. So, you better have a good night, and bye bye